This change is crazy and it's huge and it's never been like what we've seen in the past. Leaders have never been in a more complex situation. They're dealing with changes in technology. They're dealing with a workforce that has been completely disrupted. Political issues, gender issues, race issues. And so they're trying to navigate all of that on top of being the best leader that they can possibly be. So the executive program is a week-long program for business leaders, entrepreneurs, policymakers to come together, hear from experts on the cutting edge of rapidly changing technologies. Sensors, networks, AI, robotics, 3D printing, synthetic biology, AR, VR, blockchain. And it used to be that being an expert in any one of these was great. Today, that's not enough. If you aren't scared by that, you're not paying attention. But what we can really do is then take that fear and turn it into something that actually makes the world different. Our hope is that we spend the five days with the participants really diving into some of these chunky issues that are uncomfortable, like the biases that we all have, how artificial intelligence is changing our behavior, how robotics, yes, might be taking our jobs, but there are new jobs in the wings that we haven't upskilled for. There's so much inspiration, not just from the amazing programs, but also from the people. Great conversations, uh, great ideas. What is unique of the conversations we are having here, everyone is concerned about the future, about the most important problems in the world, and everyone wants to solve them. The executive program is really focused on the new emerging leader. The new leader is adaptive, is entrepreneurial, is gritty, and is ready to roll up their sleeves to figure out where we're really going. The most exciting things at the new EP, getting even more interactive. So during my session, things, things got a little rowdy in the room. The second half of the group, the group in the back, they designed algorithms to detect integrity. So I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah, because you were yelling a lot at your table. Exactly. <laughs> You've now seen how much of your human messy decision making becomes automated and augmented and how very human those outcomes actually are. That was the best workshop ever to understand AI bias. There were many moments where I felt really inspired. So you've got people who work in banking and people who work in oil and people who work in manufacturing sitting at a table together having conversations about failure, about the need to make changes in their organization and how they scale. Our goal, certainly as Singularity, is not just the learning and inspiration. It is also the connection with others that are like-minded, that want to take an action, access to tools and networks and people and funding to take that action. I come to the EP because it's so lonely to live in the future. This is my SU family. We are speaking the same language. We believe in the same thing. We have deep belief in technology. We have deep belief in humanity. You're with a tribe of people who also care about these things and are willing to go with you into these conversations. I'm gonna to talk to you about real scientists real science and real data. And I just want to remind you guys, especially as leaders and as thinkers, you have the opportunity to do the same. The experts are a critical piece of the executive program. There is no executive program without the experts. And so we work really hard on identifying the right experts. They're coming together with absolutely incredible minds and thinkers to manifest something that is ultimately a better future. In 2012, when I came through the executive program, and I, I, for the first time, was introduced to Moore's Law and the implications of accelerating technologies, I felt like I found a set of ideas that made the world clear to me. Coming to Singularity helped me not only gain new knowledge, but to also prioritize the ideas that I came here with. So I'm leaving here with a much clearer vision of what I want to do and how I want to do it. We hope that leaders leave the EP and go back and enact change within their organization in areas like rolling out new global initiatives around impact. We hope that they invest in technologies that they were afraid of. We hope that they stop investing in areas that are harming the planet. But we're starting today. We're starting right here and right now. So if you're a business leader, if you're an executive, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a policymaker, if you're curious about the future, this is a really great opportunity to make sense of what's coming. 
Hey there, hope you enjoyed that taste of the Singularity Executive Program. If you'd like to learn more or if you think you're ready to apply for the next cohort, I invite you to go over to singularity.org. The link is below. Thanks.